Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, you're going to get a detailed look at how my training partner and I go through a series of progressions at training straight line hitting. Now, when it comes to your solo practice or your partner practice, there are many different ways in which you can train a skill and then progress a skill. In this video, you're gonna to get to see Elliot and I go through a drive hitting progression where we have targets in mind, we add in a pressure component with it. We're really focusing on fairly tight margins. You're gonna see some tape on the floor, which is about three floorboards off the side wall. And then we talk about integrating nuances and attacking within the tight margins of the alley. One of the most important things I talk to a lot of my advanced students about is this notion of finding details or finding nuances or finding the complexity within simple things. That's a true mark or a true sign, in my opinion, of becoming an expert at what you're doing. If you can start finding some of those layers within the simple things, you know you're onto something. In any case, I've rambled on enough. Enjoy the sequence of drills and exercises. I think you're going to learn a lot from them and give it a try. You're going to see some technical nuances about how to hit kills out of the back of the court. You can see some open racket face, cutting and carving. You can see the follow through, the wrist position, uh, movement, body angle. You can, you can honestly pick out a ton of things from this. So focus in on what you think you need to work on and try to emulate some of these nuances or the details that you see. We also end the formal practice with a condition game, and the condition game is essentially length with the kill variation. So you're going to get to see how we can actually extend our opponent within a constricted or confined area of the court, but still try to extend them and move them and set patterns and break patterns and all of those fun nuances. All right, let's get to the video. Fatigue is high today, so we're going to try to do what we can by being cheap. <laughs> do you want to get into drills straight away or do you want to start off with like a more static hitting type of set? Get into uh... drills straight away. Rotating dress, let's do it. We're gonna have the funny bounce, so let's see how often we hit it. <laughs> okay. So we're really gonna out the size targets. What you could have the green tape, three floorboards off. Oh. And then we have double square at the back. It's tight. Okay. For the second bounce. Folks, pardon the interruption, just a friendly reminder that if you like these sorts of videos, if you want to get a ton of content that is customized to your needs so that you have an understanding of your key priorities, if you want to break past your plateaus, if you want to make your learning more efficient so you don't waste as much time and a whole lot more, send me an email at ahad at arperformance.com and I'm starting this group coaching program. It might be the right fit for you. Take care and enjoy the rest of the video. It's just too short right now. Get a bit deeper. Push in into the back. It's a butter to rally. It's a good attack. But it's a good enemy. Whoa, yeah. Get the spell stairs. And it's too slow with the sun. Hey. Free lift. Mental pressure. So we'll see first person to 20 in the tape. Okay. All right. 
Serve doesn't count. Shut. Are you counting yours? Uh, I got you. All right. I got my four. Five. Nice defense. Six. Seven. Oh. Wow, it's four. Oh, sorry. Wait. Twelve. Thirteen. Top. Yeah. Routine. Out. Shot. Fifteen. Sixth. Seven, ten. So now I can't think about the target. So have to hit it. What are you at? Good sick heat. I think I just hit 20. Many of the qualities skinny. In court. Shot. Yeah. Twenty. Back in. Well, your forehand. Four. Rhyme. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry. Sidewalls on my friend. And to cut the pull of that one. And get it running. He to the wall. I need to follow to it. Tight. Are you counting yours? Or not yet? I'm sorry. Okay, it will start soon. Yeah, my, I gotta get my rhythm. One. Maybe two. Three.
Dois. Seven. Okay, two left. Oh. Shot. Didn't see that bike. Shots. So we so many other things to think about is getting the ball in the target zone without probably hitting at one pace. Fifteen. Sixteen. Short and then news. Is that follow through? So what shots? So in between them. Tight. Here you Thank you. What are you at? And now it's the last guy. The last guy? Okay. I think I'm at 18. So we can just go 20. Yep. Line team. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to see them sometimes because the other guy's body is in the way. So when I couldn't see it, I was like, all right, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so let's try. Let's do a length game. And let's really try to emphasize that second bounce here in the back little cube. And then let's also see if we can tactically stretch our opponents with that shorter kill um, in and around second bounce. It could, yeah, if it's a bit shorter, that's fine if it's just a good kill. So we're looking to really extend the opponent in the back half of the court. All right, global. We have funny bounces. Yeah, you adapt. Did well enough. Okay. Thanks. And we also obviously have the target for the kill over here. Try to keep it within a half, one and a half of the rewards. Just play what? Let's just do it again. Times tools, trying to force it. Ah.
Max. He's gonna be on side so white cross. Oh, it's close. One, two, hit. You gotta get that width. Let's see, it's hunting. And to get a rotation on that. Three, one? Yeah. So I'm setting patterns of some length and kills. And then I can try to hold you now a little bit out of the back because you don't know which way to cover. Tell me if you feel that uncertainty or not. I did do one solo yesterday, which might be helping the hands. <laughs> Four one. That's too much stuff. Oh. Yeah. No. That was too far back. Two, four, two, five. Two foot. It's too short. Good left. That one was way too short. Next. Right now I'm going too short too often. I gotta bring some more length back. Six two. And let's say if I hit some junky kills or I'm forcing it too much, then it pops out, you can drop it. Because if I'm overdoing it, I shouldn't be allowed to hang back. Seven, two. Can dig. This is better worse than that. You sure don't. Sorry. Really? Mm -hmm. Eight. Eight. Three. Okay, yeah, three. Better dust. Five three. B 
deeper. Ten three. Pass. Oh, you had the straight option. Same thing? Or do you want to open it up more? Done, so that's it. But what we'll do is we'll add the counter drop in, like as a regular thing. So if we hit the kill, we're allowed to counter drop anytime. Because I'm finding that you're letting me off the hook when I try to hit the kill where I'm, because I'm just trying to like fire in too many kills. So you're letting me off the hook because you don't have the counter drop option. So I shouldn't be allowed to hit it and stand back. This is good because it's sinking into the fatigue fitness level. A good one because that was my target right there <laughs> level oh, i should just drop that i don't know why i tried to kill it back one of Drop. Two one. Two. Thank you. Two one. Adjustment. No worries. Three one. Shot. Two three. Push the movement. Oh, it's there. Three all. Would have been a variation. That's a good squeeze. Four three. It's one four return serve, one squeeze. Big change in score.
Good dig. Watch it. Force? And flat boy. Really? Five four. Good left. So, yeah, that's all good. Use your right to take space. 6 4. No, 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 two. I wanted the body line, missed the angle. Needed it to be foot over. Five, six. You are ready for that. Seven, five. Hey, it's different. You got that, no? Yeah. That. Carry? I thought it looked okay. This time, you don't want to continue. <laughs> uh, eight six. It's flat. Okay, the left. Yep. Thank you. See, it was a relatively low ball and we've been resetting those with drives every time. So I knew that if I could get under it enough, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have expected that one. Are you thinking about like those options when you're hitting? I am. Yeah. All my nine screens you took. Yeah, getting the opportunities right. You hit one out of the back there, one of the kills. But it's just had like, if they're gonna get by and it's starting mid court. Right. And when I'm getting through, it's just way over it. Right, right. I have choice. You have choice out of that, like, he was just kind of controlling everything. Right. Kind of just getting good. All right, nine six. You gotta hit that. Sorry. Good. Oh, you're lucky with the squeeze on that drop. 10-6 to say. Oh, yes, nice. Well done. Great cut. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And please leave a comment indicating your interest in this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.